Hi, I'm Matt Plaskoff. I'm the founder and CEO of One Week Bath, and today we're going to talk about how to plan and budget for a room addition. One of the first things that's most important about planning for a room addition and budgeting for a room addition is understanding exactly what you need to start with. There's kind of three things that go into the budgeting of, a, of any kind of a, a remodel. One is the size of the project, the actual physical size of it. Two is the configuration of it. What is it? Is it a bathroom? Is it a kitchen? Is it two rooms, three rooms? You know, what's the configuration? And then the third thing is stylistically what flavor is it going to be because different styles can cause the budget to exceed uh, other numbers than other styles. Certainly doing your research ahead of time and saying, you know, I like the way this looks or that looks or I don't like the way this looks or that looks. Tearing things out of magazines, um, printing pictures off the website, those types of things are va invaluable pieces of material that the contractor could look at and say, okay, I understand kind of where you're headed. You're not expected to be a designer, you're not expected to be a contractor, that's the contractor's job and the designer's job, but it is helpful to have that information up front. Also, discussing budget with anybody that's involved in that discussion, whether it be just yourself or significant other or whatever, it's important because the contractor, while you you may feel uncomfortable sharing budget with the contractor initially, uh, at some point it's an important discussion to have because what you don't want to do is go off and design a project that ultimately doesn't fit within any range that you're comfortable with because then you've wasted an amazing amount of time and an amazing amount of money. I'm Matt Plaskoff. I'm the founder and CEO of One Week Bath, and we've been talking about how to plan and budget for a room edition.